All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome in. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Glad to be here, guys. Thank you for 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 the support. Thank you for uh, for the 1K for the 1K. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. The, the 1K. We were joking around last time yeah. that uh, one of us, if we would have lost the bet, I think for until we hit the 1K, we can't buy it. Yeah, and you I, I, we were like, oh my god, no, it's gonna take <laughs> us forever. And like all of a sudden, next week, you guys were like, you know, nice enough and kind enough to to subscribe. So we don't have to make that bet anymore. We'll come up with another one. We have to though, because jeez, man, the spending—it's <laughs> it's just been a nonstop. And you're and spending. I'm good. I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. No, well, well, actually, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about that. Well, I, I found a couple of, of nice pieces that that I could. I I, I completely understand. Anyways, before I jumped in into that part and and, and then kind of like. I completely well, understand, but now we have someone uh, in here that's not going to understand. I yes, mean, definitely. Talk about. And, and even though we introduced him on the last podcast in Spanish, we haven't introduced you can uh, Some of y'all might know him because we we always, you know, he's right behind the cameras. We're all like, hey, say mm. yes, yeah. yes, hey, say yes, over there. So hand me this this uh, piece. But today uh, we put a mic on him. We put a mic, uh, camera, a camera on him. On him. So let's welcome, let's welcome to Isaias. How you doing, Isaias? Isaias, how are how you guys? doing? How are you? How are you? Thank you. Happy to be to, to be here. This is my second episode. The first one was in Spanish, but I'm gonna make the same joke. I am the best <laughs> fan of this podcast. <laughs> I've seen them all. And, and, and yeah, he says a from joke. The beginning, from the beginning. It's a joke because it's a joke. He's no, a for joke. real, because he ne he has never seen the the episode on on <laughs> YouTube, but he watches <laughs> us just talking about yeah, like he stupid watches stuff. It, yeah. So he's he's literally. He's seen all the episodes, you know, by just <laughs> filming it. But he said, yeah, you should, you should watch them back. I, I actually watch them back. I don't know if you do, but I watch them back again. I don't know if it's kind of like, um, uh, what is what is the word, like, selfish or uh, uh, um, hmm. uh, egocentric or whatever. But I have to, I, I like to go and watch them back. But honestly, I kind of learn from watching Well, see, that, that, that's, that's a good thing. On, I mean, I really don't watch them. Mm -hmm. I do from time to time, but I don't go deep into it. But I see what you're saying, so th and I get what I get what you're saying. Sometimes you got to look at what the mistakes you make, so you can try to fix it on the next one. Yeah. And I know I remember you told me that that's the I, way I you watch. Are. I yeah. watch all the episodes, like for real. I, I but not because I want to see myself or anything like that. But I do like to, and even though I edit them, mm -hmm. so I kind of like. But when I edit them, since we're like mixing live, mm -hmm. I don't watch it all because it's 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 very tiring. But I kind of like yeah. put all the titles and all that, and the intros and all that. So when it when it's live, I like to watch it. I, I don't know. It's weird. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's nothing wrong. Cause at time from time to time, I watch it too on my downtime. I, I watch mm, it, you know. And yeah. I, sometimes I even laugh uh, some of the <laughs> stuff we say, or you know, some of the st things that are said. And it's I mean, it's, it's entertaining, and I see why. You know, I'm, I'm glad that the people want the comments. I like to read the comments. Yes. Because I like to get the feedback. I like to know what they. You got what, some what heat. You got some heat yeah. the last time. And it was it was uh, but me. I mean, I, I I'm. Sticking to my ground. I'm sticking. I'm sticking my feet to the ground. <laughs> All right. So for people that didn't watch it or didn't speak Spanish on the last uh, the last podcast, you know, a subject came randomly, and Carlos said, "Yeah, yeah, the old people that collect, you know, they, they want to <laughs> stop." And he mentioned like, "Oh, the 50 year olds and this the, the 60." I'm like, "50." <laughs> I'm like, "50 year olds, old people. What are you talking about? You're 40. You're like 10 years from 50." And he was like, "Oh, no, no, but whatever." And everybody on the comments yeah. were like, and it's, and it's 50, funny, you know, old people. And, and I, I stuck with them. I, I, hey, when I'm 50, I'm going to be old. I, I'm a, I think I'm going to be old. <laughs> what, about, I mean, what about now with 40? I mean, 40 is a new 30. <laughs> 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 it depends on the on on, on how do you see the Yeah, flowers. I mean, you got to take care of yourself, of course, you know, you know, your health and everything. But at the end of that, I always think 50 years old, man, I'm pretty sure my knees are going to be going out and, you know, <laughs> I, I I mean. I, my knees are going out right now. Hey, man. Well, there you go, like, you see. I feel like I got bootleg knees or something <laughs> like that, man, because they're like not good. Anyways, uh, but now, nah, yeah, thank you guys for, for supporting. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, the comments, I mean, like I said, they mean a lot. I, do, I, I, do. I honestly go straight to the comments. I like to read the comments. I, really I laugh at them because, you know, even the, the guys that, you know, and it's, and it's sometimes usually the, the main guys that are that comment. And I really appreciate that, you know, it's, and it's nice to see a new a new person also comment. Mm -hmm. But I like to see the people interact. No, and I try to, to reply. To and, and that's another thing that I like that, that you do that. You have the time I, I, to I go, reply. I go and I try to mm -hmm. reply to everybody, good and bad. Like yeah. people think that that I will be deleting the, the, the hating ones or whatever. 
I don't. I real. I replied, I, and I yeah. truly do. I'm like, oh no, we welcome good and bad here. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, sorry yeah. if I haven't replied on because there's a couple of episodes that just, especially the ones with with Raúl and and then oh, Ariel, yeah. those weren't like super super, you know popular i guess mm -hmm. and then uh, it's just a lot of comments and yeah i, I mean, appreciate it because we try to keep up you know as much as we can and i understand you know Ulysses it's does have a you know he has a busy schedule so he does what he, and i and I, like i said that's i think that's appreciative of of you going and reading and actually replying no, and, i love that and the guys you know the the people to to give uh, the comments mm -hmm. and something gives their opinions or what they think and that's cool. I, I really like that. I really do like that the interaction. I know, I know. It's fun. It's fun. So I appreciate the guys, uh, the comments, the the the, the, the likes. So mm -hmm. thank you, thank you so much. Um, yeah, and then just going back to the beginning when I, when you were saying like oh spending and all that, man, we kind of like we're gonna link it uh, to the last podcast in Spanish because last podcast in Spanish we were talking about can this become addictive? Can this mm -hmm. become an addiction? And honestly, I thought it was going to be there. And then I was reflective on that. And I was like, oh, man, it, it can get addictive. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to call myself. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to collect myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be patient. I'm going to be more. Yeah, okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I, I man, this deal it, came it does, it does, And there's always deals every and it day. Happen, it always yeah. happens when you're willing to and just committed to, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to save up money. I'm just not going to spend anymore. No matter what figure you put in front of me. But then a crazy deal shows up. Mm -hmm. And then I saw this, this figure on, on I, I, it was eBay. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a super, super good price. Yeah. For I mean, a, you showed me a rare figure. Wow. I, I show you. And I show you after I bought it, I was like, yeah. and you were like, oh, man, I missed it. I was like, no, I didn't. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I show you the link that yeah. it was already purchased. And they're like, oh, man, I missed it. I was like, no, I, I didn't. I'm showing you because I bought it. And I got that piece, and I was super excited. It was it's an expensive piece. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably put it up on, on, on the next English episode. Yeah, it, sh it should be in by then. Uh, I'm probably sure. going to put it up here. Uh, but then that piece... And then the same guy, I, I was super happy. I was like, mm -hmm, yeah. I got this for a good deal. And then I checked again uh, on eBay, it, like on the same section. Mm -hmm. And then the same seller put up another crazy deal for the same. For yeah, it's same still line. expensive. Yeah, same line, but different. But a, different. A hard piece, rare piece. Super yeah. hard, rare piece. Yep. And I'm like, man, I have to get it. And then I, <laughs> I, I sent him a message. Hey, I just got you. I just got a figure. Can you know do a better deal? He did a better deal, whatever, but still, I was like, oh, man. And then it occurred to me, I'm like, hey, by the way, where are you getting this? Do you have more? And like, oh, yes, we do. He was, he got, um, he got him from a state, state sale. State sale, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Some people, man, God. some people, they, they, they then, get lucky, man. he sent me the picture. I'm like, oh, my Lord. And like, can you give me this? And he's like, yeah, yeah, sure I can. And then now there's another piece, even rarer pieces these are like we're talking about and we're, not gonna, we're, and we're not gonna talk about it right now produce <laughs> prototypes type of that that like artwork yeah that type of thing like crazy but he said like i i still don't have a price for that so yeah oh, so man so all in all it, i mean you see the excitement we're all smiling we're having a good talk but i see he said yes over there just <laughs> <laughs> what are they talking about yeah well maybe because we didn't fill it in But no, but but even the conversation when you say hard pieces, like, oh, tell me more, you know, like, let me tell me, you know, mm. what, what what else happened? And he said, it's just over there. So that that's kind of what we're we're talking about. We're gonna piggyback right off of, off of the Spanish oh, about, you know, we're collectors. He's not. He's not. So we want to get a different aspect, a different point of view. Yeah, of of a of a non collector that we're trying to see if he could become one. Yeah, I know. We're trying to. Yeah, we're asking him. Like, you know, it doesn't like like we said. You know, it doesn't mean you have to be buying these high end pieces, grills or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. Um, we're just, just you know, if, if we I was, I, my, my my, not even trying to make him a collector, but I would like experience have this experience. And that's that thing is cool of getting a childhood figure that childhood that you remember figure. when see, you're see what you what you think, see what you like, see what you what is your emotions go what mm -hmm. like, like do you really over, like. I want to see your expression. Yeah, your your expression would mean a lot. And he said, "Yes." Um, where are we at with that? 
Okay, um, I have I have one question about that. Mm -hmm. So, are you sure? I mean, how long does it take the the happiness that you get from like buying something? Are you sure you're like more uh, attracted to the fact of like of, of the whole process of buying and investigating and and receiving it and opening it, and but then it's just like the next one and the next one and the next one. Did, did, did you, does it keep for a few Do you days, keep weeks, always because I'd, you have I'd it? Think It's a different experience. Experience, at least for me. That's a good question. Uh, I'm a little bit more of a. When I started collecting, I just went for a lot of figures. Maybe you say, no, I'm gonna be more, more selective, more collective, mm -hmm. more selective, more. And I'll just get one, and maybe next month another one or whatever. You do at your pace if you want to keep buying it. But, but it's a different experience. You get that. I don't know what's called, like the 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 the, the rush or the adrenaline or the. I mean, yeah. dopamine of opening and having that first contact with it. Maybe not because I have, I, I didn't have figures when I was a child, but still when I get it on my hands, like these figures, when I got them on my hands for the first time, it's just, I don't know. It's so weird that it, even right now I, I have it on my hand and it's just, it, it gets you a feeling, right? So it's like, it's so nice. But when, when I first got them, like the first time is when you get them, I'm like, oh man, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine if I would have had this when I was a little, uh, uh, like I was, I was, I was a kid. So that's one. That's one feeling. That is not gonna stay forever because it's the first impression. That's once and and that's it. You experience that, but then it comes another one that in in inevitable, mm -hmm. okay. inevitably, you're gonna look back at it and then you can you're gonna smile. And that that one is forever, like I, as as far as me, you look. Ba I look back at a, a like like a muscle mod that I put like last time, and I look back and I smile. I can't. I cannot help it. And then, I don't know. But I, I sometimes my wife catches me, you know, on on the on this on the security camera or whatever, or she walks <laughs> in and it's like I'm just watching the figures, man. I'm like, yeah, and he's like and that that's why she like you know what he likes it. Just I mean, you, he supports me. He's like go for it. I know you enjoy it. It's not just to buy it. And throw it away like a kid, right? So you buy it, and then you re I really spend time with it. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy it. So I feel like it's a two different feelings. Once when you first get it, that's gonna be a rush, and it's gonna be for one time. And then is the other one like you really is gonna spend time looking at it, even if it is one or two figures. If you have it on your desk or whatever you're gonna be editing, I swear to God, at least once a day, if you have it on 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 your environment, you're gonna look at it, and then you're gonna have a memory of it. And then you, it's gonna trigger something. Is you're gonna smile? That's, I, 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 for sure. So I mean, to to go back on the question you said. Honestly, it's it's really your, it's how the way you're gonna feel about it. I mean, like like Ulysses said, he's he's telling you how the way he feels about it. I could kind of piggyback on what he says. I I do agree to some of that. There's times that you go into your man cave, or even if you have a small display. If you had that one piece that man, like I, I searched for it for so long and now I actually I could actually hold it in my hand. That is that is that is my that that is my my happiness. Now, for somebody that's gonna start collecting, you know, and, and doesn't really know by toy lines or doesn't but you go based off of what you remember back in in, in you know your childhood of what you had back in the days. I mean, that's something that, that you're gonna have to yourself That's when you'll know, okay, do I want to keep going or this didn't really do nothing for me. I'm going to just stop it here. I got this piece. And and that's so obviously you can see that we we have a, something in common which a lot of people watching this these this podcast do. Uh, we we can't just collect one piece and there's obviously a reason why. So this this is what it is. You, you, it's like you if you have one you like it's hard to just yeah, keep just it one. To, just to keep it, it one. Now it's not for everybody. I know a lot of people that they just have a few pieces and they're happy with that, mm -hmm. and then just it's just part of their childhood yep. collection. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go hard, Th and that's what I say. There's no wrong way to collect. And, and the, exactly, and but there's another reason sometimes. Like like you mentioned that on the other podcast that you play with the Maxil and your sister play with the Barbies. I'm not saying you're gonna buy a Barbie, but there's people that sometimes find something that reminds them. To that person, you know, to that friend, to that sibling, mm -hmm. and then imagine having. You said that you play a lot of the times with the with with the Maxil, but you know they kind of protect the Barbies, whatever of your sister. 
Now imagine you have a one Mac, a Mac still and then one Barbie that, that your sister actually have enough having them back together. All that, it's it's just a whole experience. And then the, the, the sky is the limit for, for that. You know, it's your imagination, how you want to collect, what do you want to do with it, right? So, Yeah, I mean, and like I said, the store, whenever people come into the store, I mean, man, every every time they step in, oh, my God, I remember. This. Oh, man, this, this brings me back. I think it's memories is, is the main thing why collectors collect. I, I, Nostalgia. Yeah, the memories of you know their 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 past. I I would say maybe like eighty percent, ninety percent of the times that's that's why they collect mm -hmm. because of the, of the they had it before when they were in their childhood. So and then you, and then you got people that 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 more so like to invest, like to like to resell yeah. or or buy high end pieces just to have them. But I I mean at the end of the day, like I said, it's really up to you how you want to take it. I mean you could take our advice or you could we could tell you how the way we feel about it and think about it, but it, it's really up to you. To be like, once you get that piece in your hand, you decide how you want to feel about it. And that's why it says just get one. Don't yeah. get a lot of them. And then you experience that. That's what I'm mm -hmm. saying. Like, we're kind of like spoiling it or maybe put things in your head. But you definitely have to experience it, experience, experience it experience, yeah. by yourself. When uh, you guys started, um, did all the other areas of your life were already taken care of? Because you know when you get into life, these kinds of hobby, that they they, they they you need money to 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 be in those hobbies. This always happens in the, in a in a in in a season of this person's life when the house, the car, the kids, the family, and most of the things are already taken care of. When this started, those things were already taken care of because that, that that's one of my biggest barriers right now. I wouldn't get into any big expensive hobby. Because I, I don't think my, my most of my areas are taken care of. Yes. So yeah. I don't think this like 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 I say I feel like you're and I don't want to sound braggy or I don't want to sound cocky, but you know us again, it's gonna sound super cocky, but you mm. know two of the hard collectors. <laughs> so that's probably why you're afraid of going this crazy and carlos even though i it's i know what pieces he's at he has and then he's got like some crazy pieces in his collection he's like hardcore high-end great and all that collector i feel like i consider myself a hardcore collector as well mm -hmm. so i feel like that's what you know that's yeah. the first you know and a lot again i don't want to sound cocky but not a lot of people get to know these collections and like this type of collections and i know there's like bigger collections that's why I, i'm afraid yeah, i say that because i sound super cocky but no but it's not it's, it's being humble because we're we're talking facts we, we, you know what you know what it is now we i know what it is we're not we're not here to say that whose collection who who's a high end who's no, no, who no. can't afford or who can't do this but, who can do that it's just like i think what you what you what you refer but what to, you yeah. see here is not very common that's what i'm saying yeah well, what you see here like it's not that very common now that's the first thing that you know So you're comparing it and thinking, oh, if I'm gonna go collector, am, am I gonna go this deep? Like, no. There's a lot of levels, a lot of, yeah. a lot of ways of collecting, and every like, and we we started the podcast on the first episode saying this: there's not a right or wrong to collect. You can collect three pieces from your, from your childhood, childhood, mm -hmm. and that's what brings you your happiness. And that that could be it. That could be three, five figures, or the ten figures. I don't know if you said three or thirteen figures that you had when. 13, yeah, 13, 13 figures. Maybe you can try to go one by one, maybe once a month or whatever. Try put a year into it and then try to get those 13 pieces that you had when you were a kid. And then that's it. Maybe that's your goal. And then you don't have to go crazy like 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 other people do. So to answer your question, in my particular, like I don't think anybody's life is taken care of completely. 100%. I don't think anybody's. 100%. Now, Yes, I can agree on, all right, there's better times to do it than others. Mm -hmm. Definitely, that, that, that's agreeable. Uh, maybe I was in a better place where I was like, all right, I have my business going. I have my... But still, I was thinking, like, if I wouldn't have bought this whole collection, I was making numbers, I could have done a big investment off of it or whatever I spent on it. Mm -hmm. But then I asked myself, I, would I be as happy as I am right now? Yeah. So I... I mean, maybe with my family, yes, and all that. But this is this is the collection was part of my my thing. My issue was that my hobby was my job, 
And that was an issue that I always had in my, in my life because I'm a photographer. So every time that I would go and do my job, I would go take pictures, work out and all that, I wore my, 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 my magic on the, on the events and all that. But then, then after, when I would go out and hang out with, with friends, basically I would go out with photographers and we would just put together this, you know, shootouts and we're going to go out and, and, and take pictures of, of, of the same hobby. And uh, to me, it was a very redundant, R right? Repetitive. I, I was working and then I was, my hobby was the same thing. And even though I was, I, I was okay with it. I felt like I was, I needed something different. I was like, mm -hmm. I need, I need a, a real hobby. I need something that. That's, that's going to, yeah, that's going to call your name and you're going to be. Exactly. Yeah. So going back to, to, to what you're asking, like for me, it's, it's, it's a, um, I think it was a good place. Uh, financially. Yes. But that's why when, as hard as it went. Now there's a lot of people that, and they say it on their, on their podcasts, on their lives, on their experiences. I'm not telling anybody secrets. They, they do it publicly. They say, Hey, no, I, I, I love this. I spend, you know, I don't know, a day or, or three days worth of, uh, salary on this figure because it brings me joy. It brings me nostalgia. Mm -hmm. But just to be more cautious, you 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 collect at your own pace. I feel like you're seeing us going all crazy, and then <laughs> you think, "Oh my God, I'm afraid." Imagine, <laughs> I feel like, and, and maybe we are addicted, right? So well, I think we are addic addicted. But but you saying, and this is this comparison is going to be controversial. But maybe you you see a, a, a drug addict, like in really bad condition, and then you say, "Then I don't want to taste." any of that because then Im I'm immediately going to go over there. So, and it's probably a bad comparison, but yeah, but it's like, I don't think you're going to have to go. You don't have to go all this. Crazy. So I, I think, I think what, what uh, Yuli is saying is, is absolutely right. I think what you're seeing is um, you're seeing you're in a, in a cave full of uh, hard, 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 hard pieces. And uh, when it comes to, you're saying you have do you have to does your life have to be situated before you start buying stuff like this? I mean, I would say in the high end, yes, but when I was five, six years old, I was into basketball cards. I was a collector. That's what that's what we said. You can have two pieces, even one piece, if you got it because it brought you memories back or something. That's your collection. You don't you don't have to have a wall full of figures. That's 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 your choice to make. You you know, you're gonna be I'm pretty sure you you're you of all people have a head on your shoulder. So I know you'll be responsible of what you can and can't spend. If if that's a battle you're going to take within, I want this piece, but I know I got to pay this bill. I, I think, I think you'll make the right call. And I'm pretty sure a lot, a lot of people watching us make that right call. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is where we, we, we talk about, you know, everyday life and hobby. And this is where you, the hobby, you're going to take the hobby as far as you wanted to take. It. It's just like you said, when I got into racing, remember I, I sold I sold my my figures mm -hmm. to get into racing, and then I got out of racing again and to get back into my figures, my collection. And so, that's that's one thing that don't ever look at it as a money thing. You know, it's hard to say that, but you're never gonna get exactly what he said. You, there's never gonna be a right time. It's never. You may feel like, man, I, I really want this piece. Well, hey, we have to work hard for it. I mean, I know, I know, you have to be working on the weekends. I have to work my ass off too let, to get. To let get let me ask you yeah. this. Let me ask you this: Were you on the right situation economically whenever you purchased those comedy shows seats? Oh, that's a good question. No, no. The, the the shows, the concerts that you go to, the 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 specials, were you in the right situation? No, I wasn't. Uh, the context of this question is that on the episode before, I said that the things I want, I, I like it, I like to um, spend money on was on shows or going to sports games and stuff like that. And no, you're right. You're right. I had the chance um, on a few years ago, uh, last year, no, a few, a few, yeah, a few years ago, um, my favorite uh, soccer team came to to a city nearby and I went and I spent a lot of money and uh, that I shouldn't have done that <laughs> but, I, but I enjoyed it I really enjoyed exactly. it exactly now but lesson learned right next time you know of a good soccer of a soccer if you have soccer but, team but, but it, was, it was it was it was exactly what we started with it was an opportunity that you couldn't miss 
And then sometimes that happens to us as well. And then sometimes we behave a little bit irresponsible. But at the end of the day, we enjoy it. Now, the difference between the soccer game and these crazy pieces that I got is anytime I need money, I could easily sell those pieces, especially because I got them for a good price. Mm -hmm. I could sell them and get my money or at least part of my money back. With those tickets... You can sell the ticket stuff. <laughs> but but if you, yeah, no, exactly, nowadays exactly. it's virtual and you don't, you don't even have a proof that you went. Just to print it out and sell it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's, that, that's what we talked on the, on the episode before that. The one thing I give to toy collectors is that this is a, th these are actual things that they're might, they might, but they usually don't uh, lower the value. So... Other people that spend money on alcohols and drugs or, or going partying, that money really just evaporates once you have mm -hmm. the experience. But this is this is one of those things, one of those hobbies that you actually don't. The money does, you don't, you don't throw it down the toilet. It it, it, it not it doesn't. And you still have that experience. You know you know not just to give a prop even more to collector, to collecting is you not only have the experience firsthand the first time that you get. But I'm telling you, every time that you, you look back, you have a different experience. Like every mm -hmm. time that I, I, I just did a um, rearrange of a couple of shelves just earlier before we started filming. And then I had that experience. Like, yeah, again, I'm like, oh, man. And then now it's a different experience because you see it on the shelves. But then when you put them in a different position, oh, that looks cooler. And then I took another picture. I have more pictures yeah. of my phone that. My, my, <laughs> cell phone, my, then your then my kids, right? <laughs> but, uh, but, but uh, let my wife worry about the <laughs> kids' pictures. But, but that's a different experience. And then that's a good thing. I didn't spend mo any more on, on just rearranging the cell shelves. And then that to me, it's, it's, it's just not only the first experience that you got when you spend it, is you keep getting different experiences while mm -hmm. you, what you see it when you rearrange. It's like whenever you move furniture around the house, it kind of like the house feels different and you yep. feel renovated. Oh, my God, it looks so cool. And it was the same stuff that you already had. It's the same thing with the collection. So you, you keep getting experiences, fun experiences. It, it's, it's, it's nice to have those. And you already did the, the first investment. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, my first question was because... Usually when I buy a new phone, a TV, any technology, w w or a r right now I just bought like security system for my home, like all of that, I really invest a lot of time investigating and, re re and researching. Re yeah, re yeah, researching and making sure that what I'm buying is really a, a, a good, uh, it has good reviews, that it's, that it's a good product. And I really like that research. I, I, I like that activity. And then when you actually got it and you know that you have that, but that for me doesn't last long. So that's what I wanted to ask if, if for you guys this was like more, more of the process of buying and, and, and doing the, the research and buying it and getting a, a good deal, all that process, or actually just having it and maybe you forget about it, but you, you tell, you're telling me that, that you don't. No, no, no. No, it's definitely uh, not. I, like I said, collection, uh, uh, a collection always changes. Just like moving furniture, there's there might be a collection, there might be a piece that that you know what you don't see the significance of it as much as you did in the beginning. But guess what? You could if there's investment. You're gonna sell it, and you're gonna go find a piece that you really want. I mean, perfect example, Ulysses. Um, and he doesn't have them here. I think we had them in a Spanish podcast, but he bought. An, and this is what we talked about: 2024 of figures that we wanted to get. And uh, he let go some 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 hard some hard some hard high end. I did a, a giant trolls, yeah. yeah. And uh, you know it was it was something that that he, I know he always wanted those trolls, but now that he got some boxed up, he went and um, traded them in for some some harder pieces. Now he's he's ecstatic, and that's that's what it's all about. You know you, that collecting is always you're always gonna you might move some figures, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna stop collecting. or you're not gonna have the passion for no more. It's a, it's an ongoing it's a, it's a rolling door because now the person that he traded those turtles those those giant uh, troll turtles, he's he's happy with. What and that's he has. another thing. You, yeah. you you it's it's fun to not only have it in your collection, but when you let go, when you trade something, it's fun to know that it goes to. A, it's just super cheesy, but it's fun to know that it goes to a f to a to a good house, mm -hmm. and they say. I wanted to go to a good home or whenever I, I asked them for some certain pieces, they kind of like, if they're hesitant, like, they've, they've told me this, like, mm -hmm. oh, that's cool because, you know, 
I know it's going to go to a good home. Some people are afraid to. Oh, this, is, this is another thing, another topic. Like some people don't want to sell their pieces if they're just going to be used as to resell. And that's what I was going to bring up here in a bit as well. I mean, that's to, to, to piggyback on what you're saying. I've That's happened to me a couple of times and I've heard it several times that, you know, some collectors won't just sell to anybody. One of those could be because of a reseller. A reseller will they they want they want to make sure that that piece they they respect that piece so much mm-hmm. that they don't just want to see it bouncing around from from I guess owner to owner. Um, they rather have it you know placed and displayed. However, you know however they 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 see fit, even being that it's not their piece no more. So I've I've seen deals being broken like that. Is I'm gonna resell it. That's why I know a couple of guys, and mm-hmm. I, we know a few guys that are resellers. And there's been times that they've been, they've been blackballed from from getting that piece because they know they're resellers. Yeah, yeah. And I wish if I had the 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 reset. No, no, no. The the the, the control, the camera control. Uh. I've been looking at his ideas, and he's making some faces like 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 really like really. Yeah. People, f- yeah, like it's, yeah. it's in the collection, like it's kind of like it's a, yes, it's a little bit on disbelief, but yeah, people look after those things, right? So mm-hmm. especially, I think it's, I think it's more so. Okay, well, well that way, so you say yes, we'll m- m- understand a little bit more. We're talking about more of high end pieces because I don't think if it's a well, if I it's gonna, a common, I was gonna say it can be a high end piece, but it could it could be a common piece. But if it was owned from his childhood, sometimes they don't want to see it like. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could see I, that. But I, I haven't, seen, I, I haven't seen a. Com- I seen, high, I seen that happen with high end pieces, but not common pieces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, but but that's that's it. Yeah, if if it took me a while, if it is a hard piece, mm-hmm. I wanted to go to a, to a good place, to a good home. There's people that are really just desperate for money and they need it, and just they now you yeah. know, you don't get into that luxury to pick which home <laughs> it goes to goes to. But or which uh, person but yeah, either seller or not seller, non seller. So, but but yeah, it is a thing. It is a thing. So pretty much what you're describing is what happened like uh, in like Toy Story movies when Andy grew up <laughs> and he's like making sure that the toys are going to, exactly. the, to the little girl, exa- something like that. Or when people give away their dogs that they want to make sure that they, they can't take care of the dogs no, uh, anymore. And th- Absolutely, yes. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's so a different yeah. because a dog is a, li- a, 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 it's a living, living ki- creature. But, 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 but regar- yeah, regardless, what, what, yeah, that's what we're saying. There, there's, there's times that I've seen uh, deals break because – the individual that's actually trying to, well, that's willing to get rid of the piece, they want to make sure that it's going to go to a good home. It's not going to go to a reseller. You know, the person that, that is going to buy it is going is gonna to take care of it as good as they did uh, or not even better. So, I I've, I mean, I've, I've seen, like I said, deals go good or and bad because mm. of stuff like that. So, it's, it's you know, I, yeah, and then it's just sometimes, like, I once had this offer and actually Ariel, Ariel did. Uh, I don't know if you know Ariel from On Punch. He's a, he's a great collector. Mm-hmm. And, and he told me, like, I was I was making deals to see if I could get uh, some pieces for the muscle mods and uh, the straight cuts. Oh. And, and he told me, if you find the straight cuts, I'd be willing to sell you the the human. Oh, okay. The It's called Sam. Sam. Super rare piece, very few pieces known. Almost as hard as, as those cats, yeah, those straight and cats. And he's not gonna, he wouldn't let it go for anything. But he said, if you get the straight cats, at least some of us can have a almost complete collection. Yeah. And so it's even that, like, where do you want to put your pieces? Like, like, but I'm pretty sure he wouldn't not sell it to just about anybody, right? Mm-hmm. So exactly. So uh, yeah, it's it. it there's a lot of thought, a lot of care. And it's a lot of passion. Like, say, for instance, if I was to sell a piece to an individual that walks in, I got to see how passionate they are. I mean, they, they look, I mean, as a collector, I, and I'm coming, when I say this, this is for the high end, a high end collector, when I see that they're passionate about it, then, then you know, then, then it gives you more reason why. Like, you know what? This person will, will take care of this piece. And. And if he were to sell it or let it go, it, it would it would you have to pretty much take it out of his dead dead hands. You know he has to be a damn near mm-hmm. in, in in desperate of, of desperation of money or or something bad happened where he had to get rid of it. So, I mean, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much what uh, what, like I said, what, what 
as I mentioned, will make or break a deal. I I, th- I think, and I think this is why I feel like it's super important to have a different point of view because I never thought about it like that. But as a, as a, it's a yes, as a non collector that right that it is right now, you ask about the experience, and I think it's just not. And this is what a lot of people don't understand when we, they see us mm-hmm. get into this hobby or getting so hardcore in this hobby. It's not just the experience of buying and just getting the first time. No, oh, no, that's another that that's another experience <laughs> when you go out on the hunt and find the piece on the wild on a toy show. That's another experience. That's why it's uh, yes, it's a great experience when you find it on eBay. You get it, you open it, you have it on your hands. It's great. But whenever you find it on the on on the hunt. Mm-hmm. It's a different experience. It's completely different. This is more rewarding. Well, this is this is, we could we could talk about it. You may know a little bit. Have you ever bought a, a pack of Pokemon cards or or Yu Gi Oh or mm-hmm. or Magic, anything like that? Um, no, nothing like that. Um, what th- th- as close th- th- the closest thing I've have I've you ever bought the Panini? I've done it, but no, but only like one time. That was cool. I remember, I remember doing the, uh, doing that completing the albums was cool. The albums. And I also had um, the Naruto and Na- Naruto cards. Naruto. Naruto cards. And is is there is there the one that's hard to find, like a hard, a hard? Just I, on the I on don't the know. on the football on the panini on the panini albums, you know, they they they're the ones that do the the World Cup okay. albums, the panini. That's the, the the company. You know, there's always a hard one to to find yeah there's always and that chase when, we when call you it a chase. that chase when you get those and then if you ever find it is that experience is it's something similar like to i it. pulled it yeah once you pull it like i mean i've seen people uh, a matter of fact when that happens it's, it's funny because I, I think this is what happens with pokemon collectors i mean I've, I've seen it happen once they pull a cool card like a good card most likely a charizard all of a sudden they go crazy and they start just buying and buying pokemon cards thinking they're gonna pull it again or they're gonna pull another good card and by the time you know it, they already spent hundreds and hundreds of thousands, maybe even thousands of dollars, you know, trying to pull that one card because they experienced it. Just that, that one experience. That that's all it took. Rush. It took that one experience, that one moment for them to pull a card like that to, to all of a sudden go crazy and go buy boxes and boxes of booster packs and things like and that. And that's so. why the Han, the toy shows are so popular. People go out there and trying to find their mm-hmm. piece. And, and sometimes it's hard to find it, but... And then all of a sudden you find a piece that you weren't even looking for, mm-hmm. and then but you thought it was so cool, and now you find it. it it's just a whole experience. It's just it's, it's a. I don't know. We're I feel like we're describing a, a, like a, a religion <laughs> or a religious experience, man. It just well, I, th- I think as a coll- it, it as has collectors, a lot of a lot of faces. Yeah, as collectors, I think we understand one another, and and I'm pretty sure a lot of people viewing us w- w- can relate to what we're talking about because, as I mentioned, I. I, I I would think maybe 95% of the people viewing this podcast and have been watching us and subscribing with us can relate to what we're talking about. This is why it's it's, it's awesome to have uh, another another person that's really a non-collector mm-hmm. and and is younger and is younger than us, you know, to to understand kind of our old age cuz we're almost 50, all right? So we're old. We're <laughs> oh, old, now old you're, okay, okay. Uh, you're trying to make points back. <laughs> <laughs> I said we're old. Yeah. We're old. But yeah, you know, it, it's just you know, like the first question that you asked was something that I, I you know, kind kind of hit me when, and the way you said it, you know, it's because you're looking at this right here, and this is a lot different from knowing somebody that just maybe has two or three figures. You know, you're looking at a whole room full of that. I'm pretty sure you don't even know, but hard, high end, hard to find pieces, high end grills. There's grills in this in this room, and I could I could admit to that. There's high end pieces, and I don't think. I don't think you would understand that, but you just see numbers and you're like, wow. You I don't see think colors and figures. Yeah, and you see like, wow, this is what it takes to be a collector. No, it doesn't because you could collect. Like I said, when I was little, it's, I used to collect basketball cards. Exactly. You're, you collecting. The, mm-hmm. you're collecting. There's not a label of collectors that is given if you have this many figures or if you have them this play or if you have this this year's collecting. No, no, no. And, 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 and I think, I don't know if you read comments, but you see there's something they go out to Ulysses because they tell them, hey, you only have two, three years collecting. You're you're not a collector. You just you're just spending money. That's what we get at is you can't, you can't say that. You know, they, you, you they, can, they, you that's their personal opinion. That's fine. If, if they feel like that's what they think it's right in their head, then that's fine. But I I'll disagree hundred percent. They believe that we mm-hmm. started this podcast with, and one of the reasons why we started it is it was and it was I feel like it was the first topic that we talked about. It was like 
there's no right or wrong to collect. You know, you can have three pieces, you can have a thousand pieces, which I'm pretty sure there's more than a thousand pieces yeah. here. So, and no matter if they're expensive or cheap or whatever, there's no right or wrong if you display, if you have it loose or mock or put it on a tote or whatever. Uh, you start collecting on your own pace, you start collecting on your own figures, your own taste, but you will experience that collector's feeling when you get the first figure. I can. And if you don't, then that means it's not for you. And ex exactly. I was going to say that. And if you don't have that feeling of like, oh, they're liars, no, that's it's, probably it's, not for it's, you. It's, not, it's just not it's for just, you. And, and that's fine. It's not for everybody. Is there is there a risk of getting locked in the nostalgia of when of the childhood meaning um usually when we turn 13 14 years old when we go to be teenagers you stop playing around with toys because you are you you, you have to stop being a kid you have to you have to leave that behind and then when you are grown up going back to collecting and, and, ha and having this that reminds you of nostalgia is that a risk of getting locked or going back or no wanting to move on is there is, is there anything else beside like holding or remembering and the i feel like things? i feel like truth to be told and this has been on, on the internet a couple of times and it's been mentioned and like i don't think we really grow old from the toys we're like kind of like forced to you we are forced away from them And there's a lot of people that, oh, you're childish. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, whatever. I'm like, you're trying to cover up for something. I don't think you really, if you like, because if you think about it, you move up from toys because you have that stage or that moment where you want to feel, you want to feel grown up. And then you want to feel like, oh, you, you're chasing after the girls or you're mm -hmm. trying to get more into grown up things. But if you think about it, when you really realize it, like that you never really stop liking. You just put it to the side figures, for a while. Yeah. Or you wish you would have kept playing with them or you wish you would have kept watching those shows or you go back and now I still like Dragon Ball or I still like this show. You realize that you were kind of like forced away by by other perspectives or other feelings or other people or thoughts of you have influences. To, yeah, I mean, yeah, but 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 once i hear like you never really grow up like you just kind of like moved well, away from it, it. it like they say you're young you're young at heart so i i think i think what you least is you know is, is implying and I, i feel the same way is, is i think you, your life just took a little detour doesn't mean you'd ever you let it go 100 you just you got into girls or you got into vehicles or you got or, into or make you, money or, or, or you got into you know you'll know, be being an adult you know being responsible you got into uh you know making a business That doesn't mean you let it go. It's just you you put it on the back, on the back burner for the meanwhile, and then when it comes back to you, you'll be ready for it again. I, I like I said, me personally, I, I mean, we have I don't know many people I know that are age and way older than us that are watching Ninja Turtles movies. Yeah. They still they, they they look for DVDs. They look for they look for uh, uh, um um TV shows. They look for what what they can to bring them back. You know, to that time where they were watching Transformers, where I still do that. I still watch Transformers. I still watch Ninja Turtles. I still, and I'll mm -hmm. admit it. You know, it, it, is, mm -hmm. it doesn't make me any in, in less childish, man yeah, or, or childish or anything like that. I, I, all the bills are paid. Everything's paid off. You know, I have my my figures that that I that I you know try to accomplish again, and I've got them. And you know, so that doesn't that doesn't mean you know that 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 takes anything away from me. Yeah, it's not not makes you a, a lesser man or. Yeah, a, exactly. Uh, so it it's it's not it's not something you know. For for Isaias, you know, and, and other people that may and think I feel like people does, that, yeah. that 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 kind of like make fun of it or try to cover. I th I think, I think they're more of a. I mean, I, I trying to cover up for something. It it could be. It you could have be. to be now that you have to be very confident as an adult to be playing or buying toys. That's for sure. So, I feel like confidence wise. Mm -hmm. We're one of the most confident people in the world, yeah. you know, to admit that we collect toys. I guess because it's normal, to, honestly, because it's normal to me. So I really never seen. But like, yeah, but if you if you look, yeah. if you see people, something like, oh man, like they, they kind of judge you. If you put, it, especially when I put it up on, on the Instagram, like, ah, oh, 
what a what a grown up guy collects toys. I'm like, well, my confidence is yeah. I, I don't need your approval, you know? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. It's just like I said, <laughs> me personally, I just feel like if if they have that much energy, you know, yeah. then you know, they put in something else. Me personally, like I said, this if if, if going back to your question, he says, um, if, if it's gonna unlock something for us, uh, a memory, or, it, but if it's a positive on a positive note, then there's nothing wrong with that. I think you just get lucky. Yeah, it, if you get back to your nostalgia. And it's a positive thing. Like I said, yeah. we're, we're not we're not doing anything negative. We're not doing anything where we're hurting anybody else, or we're stealing from, or we're you know we're killing or doing drugs, you know, anything like that. It's more so we're doing a po- it's something positive that came back to us, and you know we want to get back to it. And if we can, then why not? You know, I don't I don't mm-hmm. see what the problem is. I think I think Sayas has brought a lot of good options, a lot, a lot of good questions. Yeah, I mean, is there I, anything I, that that you kind of like? Doesn't click for you about collecting? Is there anything that you feel like um, that this uh, this looks fishy? <laughs> um, no, I think I think uh, that for me there is a thing that is personal. All my life I've been trying to avoid uh, addictions. Mm-hmm. I don't have any kind of addiction or, or like alcohol, drugs. I don't have any kind of addictions. And when I when I ha- when I see that something is kind of turning into into an addiction, mm-hmm. I try to get away from it. Mm. I don't know if that's good or bad. I th- I I I thought it was good. Now I'm doubting it, but uh, recently, l- well, yeah, earlier, uh, well, no, last year, I I play a lot of FIFA. That's a soccer mm-hmm. game, mm-hmm. and uh, there is a, there is a side of this game that pretty much what you have to do is that you have to or put money into the game, or you to don't buy, to to buy to buy players, or you play a lot to buy players. I don't put money into the game, so I play it a lot. I I I save some money, and then I've been trying to build a, build up a team, but I was always. Um, taking, uh, I was always checking on my phone if that if this player mm. the price the, their price drop or the price went up or, or no I'm, I'm now I'm, I'm mm. gonna wait for that card to drop and na- now I know that when the w- when the cards release these these players are gonna go down and I was spending a lot of time on that and when that w- w- when the new uh, uh, FIFA came out then the, the, the new the new soccer game came out I didn't went back to that game because I, I was like man I'm spending too much time on this okay. S- and I I try to stay away from that, and th- I think that's that's the personal thing for All me. All right, with let this. M- let me tell you this. So you say that you're trying to avoid to get into any addictions or anything that can hook you into spending more or whatever. Okay. Do you think alcoholism is an addiction? Yeah, yeah, I do. Do yeah. you drink alcohol? Any type of beer or any type of alcohol? Do you drink? At yeah. all? Yeah, I drink. Why do you do that? If you have a risk of becoming an alcoholic? Um, because I've tried it, and I know that uh, it's, it's not a weak spot for me. Exactly. Then you can treat this as that. So there's nothing wrong. So sometimes you people... So it's like that. Like some yeah. people try... And it's I don't, all a psychic thing, It's becoming thing to be legal, honest. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about it. So it's becoming legal. So so some people try, you know, a little bit of a weed. A little funny thing. You know, like, yeah. yeah. Puff, puff, yeah. <laughs> pass it around, yeah, and just try it a couple of times, and you don't become addicted or anything like that. It's just, or something people just do it at a party, or whatever, and it doesn't mean that if you tried it, you're just gonna become addictive right uh, right away. So you're tr- you're afraid of jumping in because you don't want to get addictive on it, but you drink, and then alcohol, uh, alcohol, alcoholism, yeah, it's a it thing. Is, it's but you'll still drink, so that proves you that you can have self control. And key word, key word, self control. Self control, like you don't, like yeah, don't put us as an example. Yeah, like we're the, the un- the drunk uncle, <laughs> of the collectors, like <laughs> laying down there. Yeah, yeah, we don't put me as a don't don't put us as, a, as an example. But you do, go at your own pace. You 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 get your own pieces. You go at your own, uh, self control. Get one piece. Do a plan. You you are very. I know you. You are very plan person you will mm-hmm. probably do a spreadsheet so f- you will probably research first look for the names of the figures yeah. the years and all that and then just do a plan you're probably going to look up and which one is the more expensive i can teach you a little bit more about how to find better deals don't go just for the asking price go for the selling price wait for auctions the auction you will see the real price not just people that are asking for random money so mm-hmm. I, c- I can guide you a little bit but but you can treat it like that. You can just put it, put a, put a, put a goal, and then just to maybe not only yeah. maybe first goal will be just to get one, the f- your favorite piece. You know, 
the one that you had and the one that you didn't have. You always run it. You told me about that RC car, and then you told me about the Max Steel that you that you once had. Those could be your first two goals. Two figures. Get one in a month, and the next month get another one. And then maybe the next goal probably will be just to find the 13 pieces that you had. And then stop it right there. And then see what your experience, analyze, go through it. I don't want to get you into you yeah, know, spending I, I, so much, much. But I feel like this is going to be a super fun because if we get if we get him to do that, not, not that I want you to do well, it, but, I, I'm like, but it'll I, be a fun experience to see I, the, 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 beginner, day, the beginning of a collector. Well, that's the thing. I, I'm... I'm not here to convince you to no, start no, no, collecting. No. I, I know. I'm just saying. Now, this is my perspective. I'm not here to convince you to start collecting. But the 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 experience of it, I would like to see. So I, I mean, I, I kind of seen that with, with Ulysses when it came to collecting. Now, he was already collecting somewhat, but he wasn't, of course, too hard. You know, he didn't, he didn't really have a set goal. Of what he was looking at, he knew he wanted vintage, but he didn't know exactly what. And so I seen him. Fuck, I mean, he went crazy. <laughs> but in this case, he already had he already had you know a a, a a his mindset that he wanted to collect. Now you are are totally different because you don't think about that. You never talked about it. You never you know you ask questions because you were just amazed of how much money is being spent and. You know, but we're we're not thinking about money. We're thinking like, oh my god, this piece is. We're looking at the piece itself. We're looking at the figure. So, this to me, like I said, he's telling you to get to. Um, I would recommend just get one, just get one piece, and see what that does for you. Mm-hmm. You don't get two. Don't even get those thirteen pieces. No, get no, you just... that one piece, and see what that does, and that automatically will tell you if this is something you want to start looking at. And I mean, there's all like and. I mean, we're gonna keep. We're gonna sound like a broken record. There's no wrong way to collect. If you want to do a spreadsheet, I seen Ulysses the way he he. I mean, he's a nerd about it. He looks he looks up the charts and he starts xing out what he has and what he. I don't even do that, you know. But that's that. Hey, I, I should do that, mm-hmm. especially if it, if it's a long line, you know, and it's not a line that you're too familiar with, but you you know you have your head wrapped around it. There's all kinds of ways. To, to figure out how you want to collect it, what what items you want to collect, what you know what, because there's pieces that you're like, yeah, you know what, I don't, I I know it's from the same line, but I really don't want it. Yeah, you know, so that's just how the way, like I said, there's there's all kinds of ways. Addiction, to me, sounds like, I don't know, when I hear the word addiction, it, it sounds bad. It sounds bad. Me, it is, I, to it me, is a real to deal. Me, it's a real yeah, thing. It's, real. it's a real possibility. But we were analyzing that word. On the uh, the last podcast in Spanish, mm-hmm. the last episode in Spanish, and it turned out is it it can be an addiction, but at the end of the day, it's it has a different perspective. It's, it has a different set of problems I, than I mean, the regular to, addiction. I, I, to, yeah, I, I guess because I see addiction. See, I'm, I'm gonna use two different words. Addiction to me is something that that you can't control. You have no self control. You me. you know. <laughs> no, 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 not necessarily because I mean, there. I, I've seen you, I've seen you pass up figures that are hard because you're like, look, I already spent too much money, and you do, you have mm-hmm. some self control. I'm not saying you have it all, but you do have some <laughs> self control now. I, Addi- I have hops. Yeah. <laughs> so, addiction to me, it, it's in my personal. I, I think it's it's not a good word to use. I think. I think more on my end when it comes to this, I think it's a passion. You have to have the passion for it. And that's why I say one piece will tell you it's a go or a no go. Mm-hmm. And and that's just what it like like I said, Ulysses it took it took one mock and, and he blames me for it. He took one mock to get and he just blew up. I mean and shit, I mean he I mean, okay, I'm 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 just impressed I, with I, everything I, that he had. I, I think more than just a mock and then I can just we can pinpoint it back to that mock that you sold me. But yes, it was the mock, but I already had that. Like I, I blame you because you know it's fun to blame you. <laughs> but but true to be told, you know, I've already I already wanted to to, to yeah, go but that you, route. But, but when I saying. get that when I got that mock from you, I not only got the mock and this is going to sound super cheesy, but also I, I got a friendship and then I got a, a mentor. Some knowledge. You, you, yeah, yeah. Some, no, some knowledge that, that you took me under your wing. And I'm not going to say that's a bad thing, but you helped me out on... I, I think 
if y'all think that I spent a lot of money, I could have spent worse without yeah. without a mentor. So honestly, I can I can truly say that that Carlos was my, my mentor because I've been tech, we, from the day yeah, one. The day, yeah. I've been texting and he's been yeah you know you know I think that's a little bit pricey. This is not. This is good. This going up. This was a lot cheaper. Try to look this. So he gave me a lot of a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And then of course at some point I had to start doing it on my own, right? So now yeah. I felt like after I done it, I kind of like always go back to my mentor. I'm like, hey, what do y'all think? What, how do you think? What do you think I mm -hmm. did? And he's like, oh man, I think that's a good deal. I was like, oh yeah, it's good. And, and, and so in this case, you you could have two, one good mentor where kind of like <laughs> bad, 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 bad advisor mentor. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, but we definitely will advise you to take it easy, right? So just get one piece see what, what what does to you and yeah. i'll be knowledge to you just anybody that is watching this podcast is yeah, thinking I mean, about that one piece yeah and Stop. it could be any piece i mean uh, it, it could it could be the sidekick of that one piece i mean uh, like i said there's back mm. in the days you know i i, I couldn't get all the turtles i wanted mm. so sometimes i would just get the little sidekick i find them <laughs> at, 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 the, at the thrift store or i find them at, 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 a, at a garage sale and I thought that was good enough for me. Hey, I lost. I have something to do with that one piece that I really figure, want. Yeah, yeah. So, like I said, it could be anything. It 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 could be worth a bunch of money. It could be worth really nothing. It, I mean, as I mentioned, as I mentioned in the last podcast, us as as high end collectors, you know, I mean, and we had some high end collectors come and visit this mm -hmm. podcast as well. Um, we look at it as as as, as an investment because we are spending good money on this stuff you know we, we are we, because we're passionate about it that that's when you get into a different levels there's levels like there's levels to this mm -hmm. so some guys are gonna they're, they're they're comfortable of just owning common figures which is fine you know there's nothing wrong with that there's and then there's there's people there's other guys that hey you know what i want to get to that mid-range that high range okay you know I, you know what i think i could tackle me a nice grill okay well let, let me mm -hmm. see what i could do and so that's that's when you start getting when you start getting that deep, it's because you you're doing research, you you're doing you know you you're trying to get as much information on it. You're 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 seeing what the market is is asking for. You're you're getting you know you're getting advice from from other friends. What do you think? Hey, look at this, and that's that's when you start getting more deeper into it. But at th right now, what you're seeing, like I said, and I mentioned it earlier, what you're seeing around you is is some stuff that you heard some prices on, and you just what the hell? You know, that's that's a lot of money. You're not going to start with those. And you're not. I mean, there's some people that can start like that. Oh, who knows? Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe. But but then, the, but then you know, there's and, and, and like I said, everybody, every not, not everybody makes the same kind of amount of money. No, but, you know, it's nice to want it. And sometimes when you want it, you're going to work mm -hmm. your butt off to a get it. And at the end of the day, uh, mm -hmm. that's one thing. And, and I feel, you know what? Like, I've been collecting for this long and I've been collecting this much. But I kind of feel like you are right now. You say yes. Because you have that hesitance of starting to collect with a fear of getting addicted or getting like too much spending. But for me right now, I'm in the same situation with prototypes. I've been wanting to get mm. that one prototype, but I'm also scared because I feel like if I, what if I want more? And those are like, yeah, any prototype is going to go. I mean, if you want a yeah. pretty penny, mm -hmm. there's, there's no, common figure there's no common prototype there's no cheap prototypes especially on the toy lines that we collect yes so that's another i feel i feel and I've, I've heard i've heard people that have high-end high-end pieces say i don't want to get into the prototype bro because that's a whole different that's that's, that's it's a whole levels. different game and then that's a different level and then i mean it's, buying a prototype is like the the cheaper prototype it's Kind of like the more pricey, <laughs> high-end figure of it's just about any yeah. toy line. So you start with this with the smaller prototype. The 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 starting price is the the more expensive regular figure that you can find. Like it's, that's that's your starting point. That's what I'm afraid to go with prototypes because it's like uh, what I if mean, I like it. What so if so I, we talk about addiction. I mean, I own one prototype. That doesn't mean that I'm after. I'm just be, searching and searching. To and searching. be honest, you're a more self-controlled that. Yeah, and so I and, and and I think the reason why is is with the years and and you know, the the way I see it is if I really 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 want it, then I'm gonna do my best to get it. As much as it is, I'll figure out a way to get it. But where I'm not hurting 
myself. I'm not hurting my family. I'm not, you know, hey, yeah. I can't pay the mortgage. I don't have no money for the mortgage now. Yeah. So, you know, we have we have a lot of friends that have helped us out. Hey, we'll do payment plans. We'll do this. We'll do. We'll work with you because we know what kind of guy you are. So it it it, it works out in all different ways. I mean, it's gonna work out. If you want it to work out, it's gonna work out. And so. When it comes to prototypes, yes, that's <laughs> that's man, a whole that, different. Yeah, that's a whole. We'll different. talk. We'll talk about that for uh, for another day. That yes. Prototype is a whole different game. It's a. I don't want to scare you farther. Mm -hmm. say yes, I. But but yeah, what what do you think? Like, what is your what is your takeaway? We're almost done with it with the podcast. We we already spent an hour. We were thinking about a, a completely we'll, different we'll topic. We'll, we'll, we'll probably think about. I don't think we're gonna podcast. have to save that topic yeah. for later because we had another topic that we didn't even touch. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> we started talking and he said, "Yes, I have questions." Like. A good question. And, and honestly, this was completely not planned at all. Like we we had a different topic. For freestyle, this. freestyle. We freestyle it. Um, but what do you think? So yeah, my my takeaway is that that uh, if in if in other areas or in my past I've been able to control certain addictions, there's no reason why I wouldn't be able to control this one. Um, I think that uh, the feeling of getting the first one it would it would tell a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the same advice that you gave to people on the on the topic of displaying your uh, collection, that you, you you told them uh, just take take the first step, just start start displaying and then figure it out. I think that's the the best advice for a person that is might having doubts on it or is wanting to start or doesn't know how to start. It's just like take the first step, and start for something that you like. Right. Mm -hmm. that's, that's 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 the that's thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just get the one. Just get the one. Try it. and don't don't rush it. Don't rush it either. Even if it is your fifth figure, first figure, don't rush it. Let's wait for an auction. Let's wait for that. Or let's wait if, if there's one seller that has it. Let's just try to negotiate it. Like no. As, don't, as don't. a matter of fact, hold on. So so may, may, maybe the 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 you know the, the comments. Maybe people in the comments may may help us out. So which figure are you looking for again? Uh, Max Steels. I mean, that's the that's, uh, uh, the, that's as close as collecting as I got. A particular I, 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 uh, character. I have, I have thirteen. Max Steel is a, is a guy. So it's yeah, so one. it's just one guy. What's the name? And, of and yeah. he ha he has like different suits and different d d different um, like missions where he goes to. Okay. Mm, yeah. So yeah, he has different. Um, uh, and what was the enemies. one that you liked the most? Like the ones that you will probably like will start. Um, I don't remember the names of it. Just one. Did you mention one name? Oh, yeah. The, the, there's a bad guy called Elementor. The Elementor. Elementor. Yeah, yeah, the Elementor. He has like four, four, the four elements. And mm. I, 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 will, I will give a one max steel, a one max steel, or one Elementor. Mm. Th those will be the first ones. But right. I don't know anything about th about the toys. But I don't know. All right. Maybe, maybe you, if you're researching all that, if you look to the to the toy to the checklist, you'll you, you'll definitely recognize them. Do you know if, if your mom or anybody may still have them? That's another thing. Uh -huh. Probably. Probably, yeah. Maybe yeah. that'll be even cheaper. If you find, if you ask But that'd be mom, even cooler to that'd have That'd be even cooler. That's, yeah. a, that's a whole different experience to have the actual toy that you owned. So mm -hmm. ask your mom, maybe she can find it before you even purchase them. That's, that's going to be a, a, uh, a, a good start. And you don't have to spend. Just spend on the shipping. Yeah. Tell your mom to, if, if she's still in Venezuela, right? Yeah. Maybe to ship it to to Equal. I don't know what's the best way to ship it here, but that's 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 that, that would be even better. Ask yeah. your mom if she still have, if she still have your 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 toys. Okay, okay, we'll do, we'll do. Okay. That, yeah, that's a good start. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I get excited with that. I mean, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, I wanna I, 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 <laughs> get, get get him shipped right. We we want to see them. We want to see them. <laughs> Um, all right, guys. So we're gonna stop it right there. Uh, thank you, say yes, for participating. I think we're gonna have you more frequently now. You have a camera on you. You have a, even a light on you. And <laughs> thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for helping us with the with the behind the scenes and the cameras and all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, Carlos, well, thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, I want to thank the like I said again the one K the subscribers. Oh my, oh, yeah. that, it means a lot to us. I mean, uh, this is something that. I mean, I remember when we talked about it. You know, we should, let's see where this takes us, and I, I think we're going down the That's right path. That's a cool path. milestone, yeah, milestone. Yeah. I, I, I mean, 1K is not, you know, for a lot of people. Yeah, but for us, like I said, we're we're, we're real humble about you know the way the way we collect and the way we think, and that's why I think it was going to be a good a good uh, experience for me and you to to team up and to. Do I don't this think we we really think or we didn't know if anybody was really interested in what we had to say, so we were doing it only for the fun of it. For for the hobby, and yeah, I, mean, I appreciate and that you guys are liking it. I mean, yeah, yeah, and that, that's 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 what I'm saying. I mean, uh, at least we know there's somebody out there that that you know is willing to <laughs> to hear what we have to say. Maybe some 
some BS sometimes or whatever. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, we, y'all there with us. So we appreciate that. And uh, like I said, Ulysses, you know, of course, I'm always happy to be here, man. Always oh, you, happy brother. to see this new, always, always <laughs> collection, uh, always collection changing. New. But man, I love it. New pieces, hard pieces, grills. From time to time, I mean, geez, what what else? What more do you want? Nah, thank you, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank yes, you for sir. coming. Thank you, sir. We're still we're still in touch. Uh, Mr. Isai, yes, I expect to see a figure hopefully by next <laughs> <Hopefully> time. <soon>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you guys. Thank you for the chance. Bye bye. All right, thank you guys. Bye.